welcome to BBC School Report. I'm Sienna and I'm Tamini and today we'll be talking about the Florida shooting and how one student, Emma Gonzalez, made a speech and caught the eye of the US government. On Wednesday the 14th of February 2018, Nicholas Cruz, a 9 year old former student of the Mara Joyce Stoneman Douglas High School, shot 14 students and three teachers in Parkland, Florida with a rifle. Early this month, the government of Florida raised the age to buy a handgun from the age 18 to 21. Even though they did this, to buy a longer gun there is no age limit and a child can own a rifle or a shotgun and that is nothing out of the ordinary. There have been 10,892 incidents including gun violence this year. There have been 46 mass shootings, 2,864 deaths and 4,872 injuries. 127 children under the age of 11 have either been shot or killed and 546 students aged 12 to 17 have even been shot or killed. There have been 420 home invasions and 318 of them have been used in self-defence. 341 of those incidents have been unintentional. We will now be exploring different people's reactions to Emma Gonzalez's speech. Today we are joined with Elizabeth to talk about the Florida shooting. So, what is your view on how the government is handling the shooting incident? Um, personally, I think the way the government is handling it is fairly poor because they have decided to not introduce more laws um, with regard to gun control. Like there were some try to uh, they tried to pass a law in Florida. Um, I believe this is correct that assault rifles could no longer be sold, but it didn't go through. Um, so people can still buy assault rifles, and mostly the government is talking about the mental stability of the shooter. Um, although really that shouldn't be, although it is relevant, it shouldn't be as important as the fact that someone with a mental problem, as they keep insisting that he had a mental problem, is able to buy a rifle. So do you think the mental stability of the shooter affected the incident? Obviously it did because no one who was sane would just decide I'm going to go shoot up a school. But um, obviously it did affect the incident but there are other factors as well that have been drawn into it. and. Obviously it's not, it's not fair to say that it's down to his mental stability, there are obviously many people who have mental health issues who wouldn't ever dream of doing something like this. What impact do you think Emma Gonzalez will make? I think Emma Gonzalez and all the people around her are having a really massive impact and it's really, it's really encouraging and important to see that there's a lot of young people rallying around this issue and really taking a stand. Um, the people who are going to be making these changes in the future are us, are the young people, and so to have other young people inspiring us is really important. So what actions do you think the American government need to take to avoid this situation happening again? They need to have more control on the use of guns because right now it's extremely extremely easy to buy a gun in all 50 states of America and that so what they need to have is more control more mental health checks licensing as well um, it needs it just needs to be harder to buy a rifle who thinks guns should be banned for anyone who doesn't have a license for the age 21 and under Okay. You asked 170 people who thinks guns should be banned for anyone who does not have a license under the age of 21. And 168 out of 170 students agreed. Today I am joined with Eleanor who will be expressing her thoughts and feelings on Emma Gonzalez, a survivor of the Florida shooting speech. What's your thoughts on the overall situation? Well, I think that obviously America has a culture of gun violence and guns, so it's deeply ingrained into the people of America as much as their patriotism, as they should be able to have guns to protect themselves. Um, I obviously think that this shouldn't be a culture in America as it's obviously killing so many people and there are so many more shootings than in England and Australia which both have gun laws against firearms unless they are um, in certain places. What do you think of Emma Gonzalez's speech? Well, I think it's really powerful and I, I think it just shows what the young people of this century actually think about guns 
and how they really don't want them to be ingrained into their culture anymore because obviously people are getting hurt and I think she definitely expressed that in a really good way and she's definitely really mature for someone who's in high school. What would you say to Emma if she was here today? Well I would say like just keep on doing what you're doing like keep on trying to stop gun violence and keep on trying to get Trump to ban guns and just keep on campaign campaigning and that's all you can really do. And do you think mental health is the cause of this incident? I think wherever people have been criminalised or whenever criminals are involved in a situation, there's some form of mental health behind it, especially if it's murder, because no one in their right mind would murder another human being. So I think he was probably mentally disturbed. It's come out that he's from a really bad background, so he wasn't treated very well as a child. And I think that this just shows how much more we need to look after the children in the education system so that they are brought up right and they aren't as mentally unstable. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Brothers, and since they added the Second Amendment to the Constitution, our guns have developed at a rate that leaves me dizzy. The guns have changed and the laws have not. We certainly do not understand why it should be harder to make plans with friends on weekends than it is to buy an automatic or semi-automatic weapon. In Florida, in Florida, to buy a gun you do not need a permit, you do not need a gun license, and once you buy it you do not need to register it. You do not need a permit to carry a concealed rifle or shotgun. You can buy as many guns as you want at one time. I read something very powerful to me today. It was from the point of view of a teacher. And I quote, when adults tell me, thank you, we'll see you next time.